This is a demo and tutorial video for the NetSuite saved search progress bar. So as you can see, we have a few easy cases here where this progress bar will compare two variables. It'll show you like how close you are to a goal of a single goal variable versus an incremental variable that is meant to achieve that goal. So as you can see here, our use case is hours for uh, a task or something that an employee has to do. So here we have a 25 hour goal and we're 19 hours in, we have six hours remaining. We have a little gray here, green is the amount that's under budget. Here we had 20 hours budgeted, went maybe 20 hours over budget, so we have red. Here there was no goal, so we have a yellow. Here there was no goal and nothing has happened, so we have nothing and here is the same case as up here, except that no time has been put into it. So we have these four basic cases here. So to use this progress bar, all you have to do is make a save search that compares a goal value to an incremental value. For this demo, we'll be using a custom record that has a sales goal value and a total sales value. So to use this, we can grab our ID for our goal value from our custom record or any other record that you want to compare and open up the code provided. Now you can see we have a Y value and an X value. The Y value is the goal value and the X value is the incremental value. So you can plug in X or sorry, Y with braces here and replace it with our sales goal value. So in every case, we want to replace this Y value with the sales goal. As you can see, replace all of these to make sure it's they're all replaced with the goal value instead of Y. Then we can grab our X value, which in this case is total sales, and copy the same thing over replacing our X value. Replace all these. And we have something that looks like this. There should be no more X's and Y's in there. And now we will copy all this code over, put it in our saved search, make a text formula, name it progress bar or something, copy this into your formula, and then you can run this. We have a sales goal of zero, it ends up yellow. We have 500 out of 1,000, so we get 500 here. 500 here, we have nothing here, we have no goal here for zero and zero. And that's the basic use case for this. So now I'll demonstrate a couple of simple modifications that can be made to this code. One thing that we can do is if you wish to add units to whatever values that you have, say we really want to know how many um, how many toasters have been sold by this uh, sales goal. So we can add in our units to these locations that are marked out in the general. So we can go over to our own thing and then we'll just add concatenation toasters. And then we can copy that in everywhere that it says over here that we can add units. So we have here, here, then go down the list and we can copy over this code. And we can see that everything will have been replaced by toasters. So we have some sort of unit. If you want to change any of the HTML or CSS, for instance, changing some of the colors or changing the way things are laid out, I recommend using this progress bar CSS.html file. It is laid out in a much more concise, easily readable format. It's got some comments. Um, and then change whatever is in your actual SQL file since this SQL is it's kind of hard to read the HTML with the SQL in between it. So this has a lot of functionality. Um, a lot of things can be customized, but that encloses all of the basic use cases for this progress bar.